Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and we are back with more Return to Castle Wolfenstein for the PC. We are about to commence Mission 3, but before we do, we've got a cutscene to watch. Well, gentlemen, it's been 48 hours since our man Blaskowitz returned from Castle Wolfenstein. That's given us ample time to digest his findings. Findings which are, to say the least, astonishing. That's an understatement, sir. The question I'm putting to you all now is this. What are the Nazis really up to? Well, sir, to put it bluntly, I don't think we know enough to answer that question. Really? But don't get me wrong. We've learned plenty about their capabilities. That alone scares the hell out of me. Here, here. But... Yes, Jack? Well, there are two things that still bother me. Exactly what is this dark night they all seem to be so interested in? Well, what did our research come up with? Nothing. A complete blank. Well, it's obviously more of their jiggery-pokery raising the ghoulies rot. What's the second thing, Jack? The second thing is Death's Head. Now, here we have probably the single most dangerous figure in the entire Third Reich, and still, we don't have a clue about his connection to all of this. Death's Head? Haven't our sources placed him at the secret rocket base in Katamarundi? Well, that's correct. In fact, as luck would have it, our man Blaskowitz is headed there now. He is? Yes. His orders are to infiltrate and sabotage the entire V weapons complex. With any luck, he might even get his hands on the latest experimental Cobra. The Cobra rocket plane? The very one. That's exciting news, sir. So, uh, what would you say, Jack, to my instructing our man to keep his eyes and ears open for any links to projects involving the, uh, paranormal? I would say that was an excellent idea, sir. Alright, so here we go guys, this is Mission 3, it's called Weapons of Vengeance, and this is the first level for Mission 3, called Forest Compound. There are four levels in total for Mission 3. Our mission objectives are, infiltrate supply compound, stow away aboard supply truck bound for rocket base, ensure that no alarms are sounded, and recover OSA M1S Snooper Rifle. Now this is a really cool level because you have to utilize stealth in order to get through it. If you don't, you're fucked. You've got no chance of completing this level. So let's have a read of this. Death's Head has been tracked to a remote rocket base located near the Baltic coast, where he intends to fire a V2 rocket at London, fitted with some kind of new chemical warhead. Your only viable method of infiltration is to stow away aboard a supply truck bound for the base. You will parachute into the outlying forest area, armed only with your knife and silenced sten. The rest of your gear will be deployed separately in two drop containers. In one of them you will find the new OSA M1S Snooper Rifle, which has been shown to be highly effective for long range covert wet work. Due to the fact that this weapon uses very specialised ammunition, we can only issue you with a limited amount. Also, due to its experimental nature, it is imperative that you recover this item, lest it fall into enemy hands. The area is lightly guarded, but there are alarm stations scattered throughout. If any alarms are sounded, the base will be alerted and the mission will be scrubbed. If you encounter any enemies, eliminate them before they can sound an alarm. Remember, do not eliminate the final guard who controls access into the compound. If you do, the supply truck will not be able to get inside the rocket base. Let's do it! So here we are, we've just parachuted in to the outlying forest. There's our parachute stuck in the tree. And we've got absolutely nothing except our knife and the silenced Sten submachine gun. Which is all we really need for the opening section here, because like I said, you have to play this level using stealth. If you don't, you're fucked. See, the problem is not so much with alerting the guards, 
it's when they run away and set off the alarms. You don't want that to happen. So you've got to be really quick about killing them. Fuck off. Hey Rudolf, there's a parachute caught in that tree across the lake. Really? It's probably just a misdraft from that black guard mission training to the south. It happens all the time. You'll get used to it. Are they training today? Ugh, I don't know. There's a schedule here somewhere. Find out if you're that interested. I really think we should go investigate. Look, do whatever you want. I have to post this watch schedule in the next 20 minutes, so Leutnant will have my head. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's kill this guy. Beautiful one-hit kill. Remember to do the one-hit kill using the knife. You have to make sure the cursor is dead center in the middle of their back. Otherwise, it will not work, you know. Even if you're just slightly off like here, it will not be a one-hit stealth kill. It's bullshit. Now, this guard here is very, very difficult to kill with a one-hit stealth kill because, as you can see, there's these steps here. And the problem is, you have to be on flat ground with the guard in order for the stealth kill to go through. As you can see, I'm standing on a step. Even though my cursor is dead center in his back, it will not kill him in one hit. It is fucking bullshit. You have to be on flat ground with him. So, oh god, let's try and do this here. I have to nudge my way forward. Oh, look at that! <sighs> that is just fucking atrocious. Bullshit. Anyway, across the river is the first parachute drop. There are two parachute drops in this level. What do they contain? Well, basically goodies, health, and there's a new weapon, the Colt handgun, and some ammo for it. It takes .45 ACP rounds, the same as the Thompson submachine gun. You'll rarely ever see me using this Colt handgun because you know, I'll just be using the Thompson submachine gun, since it takes the same ammo. It's like if you were to use the Luger, even though you had the MP40, you just wouldn't do it. Another guard up ahead here. Let's kill him using stealth, hopefully a one hit kill. Yep, beautiful. Next one. Oh, he heard me run in. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's off. Oh, I fired a shot. Good, he didn't hear me. So if I go over here, let me try and explain to you guys what is happening. We've got a guard up there in the guard tower, and we've got two guards there on the bridge, and there goes the supply truck. We need to follow that truck. Obviously, we can't go that way. It's suicide. So we have to take the long way around, through the mountains, through the trees, take the scenic route, so to speak, This is such a hard level. Very, very tough indeed. I've played it that many fucking times and I still can't do it flawlessly. You know, guards just become alert for some unknown reason. I don't know why. Even when I stab them in the back with the knife, even when I shoot them with the silenced Sten submachine gun, it just doesn't seem to work half the time. It's real bullshit. There's going to be a guard up there in that guard tower. I'm walking now, and I'm still holding the walk button as I go up this ladder. I'm not sure if you have to do that, but I just do it anyway, just to be safe. All right, let's kill him. Right in the middle. There you go. <laughs> he just disappeared through the grass and came out there. What the hell happened? So as you can see, there's those two guards still and the other one in that guard tower over there. He can't see us because his view is obstructed by the tree, which is good. And there is an alarm. Do not hit that or the level will be over. Your main priority are guards in guard towers because they are so close to those alarms. They will set them off in an instant. I believe so. Nothing else is scheduled. Two guards up ahead there. We can't go that way. So we'll go through here. This part coming up is very, very difficult. 
if I go ahead and use my binoculars, you can see the supply truck is going through and there's a guard there and another one up there. That guard there is very, very difficult to take care of without, you know, him setting off an alarm. I'll explain how to do it in a minute, but for now, there's two more guards down here. Well, sir, about three hours ago, a general's car with a full escort came flying through here. Uh, then about an hour and a half later, they left. Ah, Death's head in his staff. One of his last minute tours of inspection, no doubt. He certainly does get around. Pardon me for a moment, Corporal. Alright, this is really tough. I'm gonna try and get a stealth kill on this guy here. Beautiful. And actually, I'm gonna run. Sprint to the second parachute drop. I'm just going to do this. Look, there's the snooper rifle. I have to be really quick here before the guards turn around. Headshot on that one. And the one up in the guard tower. What's going on? What the fuck happened here? Oh, I didn't pick up the ammo for it. Fuck. This could be the end of the level. This could be it. God, what's going on? Okay, he just went flying off. I'm gonna take care of these two. I just gotta focus, guys. Let me just do this, because this is real bullshit. Fuck, I gotta reload. Oh my god. I think I did it. That is so fucking difficult. I cannot even begin to express how hard that whole section is. <sighs> Man. See, the way I like to do it is stab this guy in the back and then quickly sprint over to the second parachute drop here and collect the snooper rifle as well as the ammo for it. Quickly run back to about here, crouch, snipe that guy on the mounted machine gun, and then snipe the guard in the guard tower. That's how I like to do that section, and then, you know, go ahead and take care of those other two guards. That was a fucking mess. I'm surprised that that guard in the guard tower didn't set off that alarm. I got very, very lucky there. Anyway, there's the Thompson submachine gun, beautiful. So let's progress, we can go ahead now. And I believe there's an armoured helmet here, yep. Make sure you don't press that. <laughs> it's very close to the armoured helmet. Okay. This part's still very tricky because... Okay, the guard's not up there. There's a, there is a guard up on that tower. I'm not going to take care of him just yet. Now let me try and explain something here. The guard that I took care of up in that little hut, you would have noticed that I shot twice to kill him because he stands behind glass and the first shot doesn't actually go through the glass and kill him, which is bullshit. That's why I had to, you know, do a second shot. But it's very difficult because he runs straight away after you fire that first shot and he can set off the alarm very quickly fuck off alright I'll read that in a minute but I just want to take care of this area first fuck off beautiful now there is a guard up ahead there that is the final guard do not kill him he is the one guard that you have to keep alive. If you kill him, you cannot complete this level. Let's have a read of this. To shipping and receiving from Oberst Steiner. The replacement V2 liquid fuel rocket motor is expected to arrive shortly. It is essential for this shipment to be fully staged and delivered to component integration immediately upon receipt. Because of last Thursday's unfortunate incident, time is now extremely critical and delays will no longer be tolerated. Oberst Walter Steiner. 
Commanding Officer Reich Special Projects, NW District. Okay. Ammo there. For the. Oh, sniper scope. Beautiful. For the Mauser rifle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where the secret for this level is. The one and only secret for this level. To get to it, jump on top of these boxes here and try and jump up on top of that fucking cable. There we go. Get on top of this house here, this hut. And then navigate your way across. Do a little tightrope walk. Jump. And there you go. You can fall through here. You found a secret area. Collect the ammo. Beautiful. Armoured helmet. And shoot this. Because as you can see, it reveals a treasure. Hopefully that didn't alert anyone. I don't think it does. nothing in here. Let's open this gate up. Now this is real bullshit. There's a guard up ahead. There he is. I'm going to shoot him with this snooper rifle which is supposedly silenced but watch what happens. Okay I killed him. Now look. This guard in here is alert. What kind of bullshit is that? How did he hear me you know? Ah oh, man, this game is just fucked up sometimes. Awesome, awesome game, but... You know, the whole stealth aspect of it, trying to get stealth kills, is really a mess. Sometimes it works, sometimes it fucking doesn't. So yeah, this was that guard I was talking about, you know. I had to shoot through the glass, and then quickly shoot him again before he ran over here and set off the alarm. This guard is such a tricky motherfucker to take care of. So now, we are basically done. Let me just go ahead and check if there's anything else to do. Remember, do not kill that guard. If you do, you will fail the whole level. You'll have to start again. So I'm just going to run along here so he doesn't see me. Fucked him up. Where's his weapon? What happened? Just disappeared, did it? Alright, so that is it. As you can see, objectives 4 out of 4, secret areas 1 out of 1, treasure 1 out of 1. So, as usual, I will walk forward to complete the level, and I'll see you guys in the next video for level 2.